experience some rough times. I know I'm preaching to somebody. If you live long enough, you're gonna go through some hard times. God is gonna allow you to see something that you've never seen before. Experience some things that you've never experienced before. But even in the midst of all of that, you ought to be able to find something to be thankful for. Uh, these people, many of them had been killed. Others had been taken captive. They did not have a lot to be thankful for. And yet, we hear Asaph and some of those who survived saying to God, we're thankful. Oh, I wish I had a prayer in church. It, 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 it bothers me. It, it troubles my, my, my spirit, Reverend Brown, when, when, when folk just don't understand how blessed they are. But what's even more troubling, Reverend Fields, is, is when they don't even take time to thank anything other than my wife. But I thank God every day for something. I don't have the best of health. I can't play ball and run and jump and, and do all the things that I used to do and that I want to do like I used to. Uh, I realize that, that that three days out of the week, four, four hours of each those days, I'm, I'm hooked up to the machine. Oh, y'all don't hear me this morning. Four hours. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Your pastor is hooked up to the machine. Doesn't sound like a whole lot to be thankful for. But, 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 Brother D. Mary, I know a dog. Washing and cleaning your car. Yeah. 